Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4, the Great War mod, as we are playing with the Ottoman Empire. So I, I am re recording this video back-to-back -back with the first episode, so I haven't got to read your comments yet, unfortunately. One thing I would like to mention, yeah, I, I hope that the, the sound was all right for the music, because the being a mod, they, they seem to have added quite a few new songs here. I mean, I haven't really looked at the music playlist just yet. Um, but yeah, it seems like they did add some new music here, and some of it's kind of like, it's just, it's, uh, not all of it is the same kind of uh, volume level. Uh, notice some of them are really, really low and I can't hear them. Uh, and then other ones are really, really loud. Uh, so that's just kind of part of playing with the mod here. So hopefully the music isn't you know too loud or you can't hear it or whatever. Um, just let me know in the comments though. Uh, Cause I will be able to read the comments on this one before I record the next episode. All right guys, so um, we have all these guys here uh, training up or taming up as I, I said in the last episode. Uh, so yeah, we're getting these guys uh, trained up here. They're also getting all their new equipment cause we did just change up their division design. Uh, and one thing I didn't even realize is that we did not get any uh, convoys building up here. Um, we probably should do that. Uh, let's just go ahead and take one from them and add some convoys. I think that that's actually pretty important um, so that we make sure that we have, uh, that these guys can build up here. We're going to put them on the top because I, I find that if I don't, that, that the convoy production just isn't fast enough and convoys should be extremely important. Um, and it looks like we're doing pretty good on everything. I think we might be trading for a little bit too much steel. I'd be perfectly fine with fixing that. I think we will. Um, let's go ahead and uh, trade for a little bit less steel. Um, yeah, let's, let's just get rid of one of those factories there. And we will be short one, uh, but I don't think that that's worth giving a whole civilian factory away uh, as of right now. Yeah, I think we're, we'll be absolutely fine. That's really only going to uh, affect those. I said fuck. <laughs> That's only going to fuck the ships. That's only going to affect the, the ships down there at the bottom. Uh, so we got Heavy Industry 1. Um, let's go ahead and get uh, the next uh, industrial tech that we want to grab here. Uh, what do all these do here? Uh, supply consumption is going to be less. Uh, infantry recovery rate. Okay, more supply consumption. Uh, decrease. Okay, so these are pretty cool little techs here, but I don't think there's something that we want to get early on. Um, once again, these ones are also something I don't think that we need to get early on either. We got cameras. Okay. I guess what we're going to go for, I mean, having trenches. Uh, oh, there's the other construction speed. All right, so we do get another one here in 1916. Well, that's good to know. Uh, that was still a ways away, obviously, but I'm glad that we do get another decrease. I was thinking there wasn't any more. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and go with the improved hand tools. Okay. I think that will be helpful uh, with our production. And let me just make sure all these guys, uh, nobody is too experienced as of right now. We do have a little bit more political power that we can go ahead and modify our government with. Since I'm still not building military factories yet, nor do I think I'm going to be anytime soon just yet. Yeah, we got still a ways away here. I think what we're going to do with this one, uh, rather than getting the war industrialists for the dockyards and the, and the military factories, I think we're going to go ahead and get some technology ones, even though we're not researching anything just yet. Um... We might, we might end up researching soon, something soon, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the infantry equipment uh, this time around. Although the artillery, now that they, it does have those, uh, the heavy and the light infantry, it might be useful to get that as well. Uh, we're getting a little bit more of a slowdown here as we're uh, progressing in the time. Uh, and I was just talking about the for performance being excellent in the mod uh, in the previous episode, but it actually is really, really good for mod. Usually performance, uh, you always see a kind of a decrease in performance in mods. Uh, oil extraction, you know, because they, they add a lot of stuff. That's to be expected. Uh, if you're going you're gonna to play mods, you should expect that uh, it's just not going to run as well as vanilla, uh, usually. Um, sometimes, though, mods run better. Uh, so I think we're going to go with the improved oil drill. Uh, get more oil and more resource gain efficiency here. Um, and I wonder if we're still having issues, with, or if we have maybe a surplus because of that due to the resources here uh, that might be trading for. It seems like no. No, that didn't really help us much. Okay, well, whatever. Nothing to be done about. You know, one thing I have not taken a look at at all is changing up our uh, some of our laws here. I haven't even really taken a look at any of those. We're sitting at limited conscription right now. Only 2.5% of the population. That's pretty cool. That means we still have uh, extensive to go. Um, and that's going to really... We're gonna, I don't think population is going to be much of an issue in this one here. Obviously, can't change that as of right now. Uh, limited exports. We'll probably keep that as is. Because uh, resources kind of issue. I mean, these these bonuses here are great for export focus. Uh, but I think we're going to keep this as is uh, for now. And let's go ahead and take a look at the mobilization as well. I just want to see when when we can change over to war economy because, you know, this, this is the mod, so some things are different. 15% uh, of the world tension is required. Um, and you have to be either fascist or communist. Okay, so you can't be authoritarian. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and if neither of the above is true, uh, then uh, you mean it must be at war or... Um, okay, so pretty much the same as vanilla. 
Uh, they're gonna need a certain amount of factories, our enemies. So we might not be able to do that until we actually go to war. It seems like that could end up being the case. I don't know. What does that see? Um, anybody else done over here? Yes, there is. Let's go ahead and pull these guys out. Uh, so we're not training them. Uh, losing equipment. Get all those guys out. A lot of divisions that we got currently training up right now. Uh, how many do we did we finish these three yet? No, they're still they're still uh, training. Uh, maybe we want to get a few more. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, getting a bunch of divisions that are kind of cruddy, though. I don't know. I don't know if that's wise. Uh, because we need, we have so many adjustments that we need to make. Uh, and it looks like we're already into the 1916 techs here. Uh, so we've gotten pretty much all the industrial ones I can really see wanting right now. Uh, we're going to eventually want trenches, but that's, that's not going to help us for right now. And we don't have recon companies, so I don't see us getting those. Uh, we probably will get these ones uh, once we get closer to the war here. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we need that as of right now. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything here just yet either. Uh, encryption, decryption, all that kind of stuff is, is excellent. Something that we'll certainly want to get. Uh, I think we're going to want to move down support companies because we just don't have very many. Uh, and we could improve our artillery as well. Uh, but I think, yeah, I, I think that is what we're going to end up doing. Uh, one thing that I, I would like to ask you guys, uh, because, you know, as I said, I don't really have any experience uh, with this mod here. Uh, are you forced to go down uh, a specific... Uh, doctrine for each one of these uh, because you see I can get this one uh, mass charge here for the cult of the offensive doctrine uh, but I can't get any of these ones now if you hover over it to see why you can't get it it says it requires the following technology war of movement now perhaps that's a technology somewhere that I'm not seeing um, and you also see it's the same game with the same thing with the uh, naval and the air doctrines as well this one requires powerful battleful battle for the raid and the air doctrines does require uh, ace veteran initiative um, so I'm not entirely sure where those are though. Uh, I have no idea. I'm not I'm not seeing like where's the maybe it's not an actual Yeah, I don't I really don't know uh, and it is a technology not a national focus I don't think yeah it requires the following technologies. Uh, so yeah, I don't know uh, if that's something that you start out with um, And so you are forced to go that that route uh, whichever route they have here uh, Maybe that's the case. I would like to know though uh, any of you guys who might be a little bit more familiar with mod. Uh, so I'm not going to research any of these until we, we find out if that's the deal uh, or not. What we are going to do is go down support battalions. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the field hospitals. I love field hospitals always. Um, some people don't really like the field hospitals. I don't know why. For me, manpower is just so critically important. And the experience, guys, making sure that you keep your experience as you're getting new units and as you're taking casualties, uh, to me, just seems immensely uh, helpful. I don't know why anybody would not want that. Let's go and pull all these divisions out. There's quite a few. Am I not holding shift? I could have swore I was. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. What the fuck? I am holding shift, guys, and it is not... Huh, okay, I'm going to just do this a little bit of time here, because I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Because uh, I am holding shift, and it is not pulling them out. Okay, here we go. All right, I think that's it. Uh, get all these guys out here, and then I believe uh, most of these guys are almost done as well. Uh, a lot of these are just about done. We're going to have all of our units trained up, though it seems that a lot of them don't have their, their equipment yet, so we might have to retrain them, but we'll do that in time uh, as we get more stuff, because we know that we're going to have to continue. I don't know why this is not shift-clicking, guys. Like, I'm telling you, I'm, like, shift-clicking, and it is not doing it. Maybe it's my keyboard. <laughs> my shift key is broken. Uh, too much uh, sneaking, I don't know, in, in uh, games. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, these guys are almost done as well, um, and it looks like we have our uh, national focus, uh, which is excellent. Uh, we've gotten the, what did we just get, the Balkan politics? No, we got the assert position in the Middle East. So we are, we are in 1911. It makes me think that we should start researching some of these industrial national focuses. Um, yeah, let's go and get another civilian factory. Uh, that'll help us build a little bit quicker. Um, and yeah, we're good on resources, good on just about everything else. We have a little bit of army experience, though not enough. Uh, to change anything because you need I want to add uh, a support unit uh, next time and we need 13 in the mod uh, before we can really put that up uh, we can modify the government now let's go ahead and do that I guess we're gonna go ahead and get the the military factory now the war industrialist let's go and grab that up we're probably gonna start building that soon I don't know if we, we, we will build that before we would have got the other one but none of the other ones are really all that advantageous to us either at this moment uh, so yeah we're done here let's go ahead and just we're just going to destroy this this army for now uh, we can always create a new one because uh, I'm sure a lot of these guys are still gonna need to be trained up here um, as they get equipment but we'll wait until that that point comes uh, let's just go ahead and keep the game playing here uh, and then we will get those other units those new units that are gonna need to get trained up as well so we're only not 1911 I don't really feel like we should be building a bunch of units that we're gonna have to well I guess I suppose we could 
uh, build a few more units. Let me just take a look at our stockpile and see how we're doing. Yeah, we're doing excellent in a lot of this equipment here. 5.3,000 infantry equipment, that's not bad. Uh, I think we will go ahead and get another unit training. Yeah, this is... This is looking good. Let's get get some more units trained up here. Uh, we will tame, train up. Um, let's just get... No, nah, I don't think we not, need that many. Let's go like that. I think that'll work. Five more divisions. Uh, get them training up. And it seems like my keyboard. It's my keyboard. My keyboard isn't working effectively. Uh, maybe the battery's going out. I do have a um, you know wireless keyboard, so maybe it's the battery. Um, yeah, that's because I was holding that shift click, and it was not uh, not working. Uh, and yeah, now I'm sitting here pressing unpause and, and it wasn't working either. Uh, but yeah, I love that the performance is great. Um, I kind of went into this expecting it to be a little bit lower, honestly. Um, but yeah, we are flying through the, the uh, years here, uh, which is fantastic. Um, so, like I said, I, I want to declare war on Bulgaria first. I think that's going to be our enemy in this war. Um, although I know it might make sense for to have them be in the Central Powers. They just have too many good resources here that we can make use of. Most importantly, coal. That's something we lack. We do not have a lot of coal. Uh, we do have wood, so I mean, that's I mean, that'd still be helpful. They also have steel, something we're lacking as well, something critically important in this game. Uh, they changed all the resources up. More wood over here, um, and yeah, so that's that's going to be an issue. Our lack of steel. I think we already looked at our resources here, so I won't go. I won't look at them again. And you know what? My my throat has been hurting today, guys. Like I'm wondering if I'm getting fucking sick again. I swear, if I get sick again, uh, I just got sick like a month ago, uh, and I'm absolutely tired of getting sick. Um, our kids, they're always bringing this crap home. Plus, I work in a hospital. Um, so yeah, we got the Battle of uh, De Sik. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm uh, saying that right. Probably not. Uh, the Albanians have scored an upset victory over Turkish forces today. How did they? There's no, they don't even have any, I'm winning. After a surprise attack on a much numerically superior Ottoman force, the Albanians lured the Pasurian Turks into the nearby town of Tuzi, where, joined by rebels from Montenegro, they overwhelmed the bottleneck forces into a retreat. The Turkish authority in the Balkans has fallen from further in a question as a result. Shame on us. Shame on you. Damn. All right, so yeah, that sucks. Yeah, we're getting these events here. It doesn't seem like it actually had any effect here, though. Uh, and we do have a uh, full, um, you know, we're winning over there in those border wars. Um, but like I said, I don't, I don't really know how they're planning on having that work because there's not another country involved. Uh, but yeah, we got construction effort. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and go with, uh, well, but that sets the uh, one civilian factory there. I think we're going to go ahead and get the military factory next. Let's go with the armament effort here. And then we might, I don't know, I'm going to take a look what's below those ones. Uh, and then at that, it might, maybe we'll start going towards some political stuff. I don't know. I think it would be helpful to get some people annexed and stuff uh, early on here. Uh, let me just see. I believe we annex, diplomatically annex uh, this country here. Uh, and it seems that they don't have any resources. They do have some factory slots, not really something that we need, though. Uh, so not going to be incredibly useful. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but it is a diplomatic annexation um, early on. Uh, so let me just see what we're going to go ahead and grab up next. Do we want anything? Yeah, my throat is really starting to hurt, guys. I, I fucking sure hope I'm not getting sick again. I will be very, very irritated. Um, which, by the way, if I do get sick again, that does kind of shut down the channel for a few days where we can't really do anything. Uh, so all of the infantry techs we already have here, uh, we already have until 1914. So we don't really need any of these anytime soon. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Uh, we don't have the special forces, though. Uh, which we probably will want to get mountain infantry. I don't know about marines, probably not. Uh, but we will want man uh, mountain infantry because I think uh, we're going to be fighting a lot of mountains, I'm sure. Uh, so that would be helpful. Uh, we could go with some more support equipment here. Uh, we could go ahead and grab up the armored car, which I don't know uh, what exactly these do. I guess they serve the purpose of tanks until you get them. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Let me just look at their stats here. Uh, looks like, I mean, they have a little bit of armor. They have a little bit of armor. Yeah, I guess they kind of serve the, the purpose of like a light tank. Uh, so it might be something that we want to grab up. Could also improve uh, artillery over there. Uh, get uh, get the doctrines as well. Don't need the can't get the ships just yet. Uh, planes not till 1915. We're gonna be rocking the wow the scouts and the zeppelins. Uh, and of course you know World War One was not a period of uh, uh, this where planes kind of started getting used in combat. Um, so it looks like we also have early fighter enables early fighter. Oh okay so we can we can grab this up. Okay um, so yeah it might be something that we want to get. Uh, but we're not gonna get it just yet, and this is gonna be something more closer to the war, I think. 
So since we have the open so I might go ahead and start getting like encryption and decryption and stuff like that. Uh, that probably would be wise to do. I'm not seeing us building this armor cars just yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some of the stuff in here. We'd also do these ones, I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that one. Let's get some less supply consumption. Sure, why not? That will help us. Uh, and then we'll start. We're just going to work on that kind of that side of the, the tree there. Get all those knocked out uh, because really not too much for us to get early on here. Um, that's just the way the technology tree works in the mod here. Uh, but yeah, let's get these, uh, these guys should be, uh, starting to drop in their experience. Maybe not. Looks like they're still waiting on some equipment. Field guns, it seems. Oh, there's a whole lot of field guns we need. Maybe we want to go ahead and get that, that changed up now. Uh, change from one infantry equipment over to the field artillery. Because that's something that we're really lacking right now. And did that change anything up here? It doesn't seem like it. I think we're good to go up there. Uh, but yeah, we need to get more of the artillery here, and it seems that we can also modify our government. Uh, I think we're gonna get, uh, really, it really doesn't matter, guys. Um, I wonder if the tank designer helps with the, uh, probably not, uh, helps with getting the armored cars. I really don't know. Uh, but yeah, we could get that. Um, there's also, uh, ship designs. Oh, we're not gonna need those till 1914 for sure. Uh, I guess we're, we're going to get the tank designer. Uh, because why not? Let's go ahead and grab this up. Uh, we could also start making use of our political power to kind of like, well, yeah, I really don't know how this works. If it works like ideologies trying to get people to join you, uh, cause we might want to do that. We're earning the political power incredibly fast. Can we boost party popularity in this mod? Uh, it says you can't boost popularity of other ideology ideologies and your ideologies popularity can't be boosted. Okay. So it seems that that's not even a mechanic in this mod. All right, um, or, or maybe it's just not in, for now. Uh, maybe it will later. Okay, so, I mean, that does have a lot of cheese to it, guys. Uh, it's so easy to do. You just park somebody there, and then you get it increased, and then before you know it, you got America joining the Axis powers. Um, so definitely something that's easy to do. Uh, I imagine that they'll unlock it, though. You would think they would unlock it, you know, as we got closer to World War II. As far as how far we're going to go, guys, I don't know. I highly doubt we'll go into World War II because, I mean, how's that going to happen? I mean, one side's going to win. Either we're going to win and we're going to destroy uh, the all of our enemies, or uh, the other side's going to win and we're going to get destroyed. I mean, that's, that's really what it comes down to. I mean, what else would we do? I mean... Uh, there would be no World War II because, well, I don't know if they have what if the the events could, of course, change that. I really have no idea if they have events that kind of set up the world in a different way than if you had a peace treaty, uh, because otherwise it seems like you would never get uh, a World War II. Uh, because the wars in the Hearts of Iron are always fought to the very end um, until you absolutely destroy them. And if it's a world war and everybody's in the war, then you've destroyed everybody. Of course, you could do a world conquest and conquer all the little you know countries that still exist out there in South America and stuff uh, if you so desired. But yeah, I don't I don't know why you'd want to unless that's what you're seeking to do world co world conquest. So we got the oil drilling uh, technology over here, and this this is supposed to improve our resource gain efficiency as well. Uh, and plus, we get a nice little bonus towards oil. And I, that might be the last tech we get over here. Um, well, we do want to get trenches. Uh, that's not a priority, though. No, we're probably not going to get that first. Uh, let's go in and get encryption. Let's get the encryption bonus. Then we'll get decryption. Uh, get those bonuses. They do help in combat, even though we're not just in, in combat just yet. Uh, really, a lot of the stuff, though, is kind of locked until we get a little bit closer to the war, it seems. Uh, so we did get the armament effort national focus. We'll go ahead and select something there. It looks like Machu Picchu was uncovered. Uh, the Grand Estate of the Incan King uh, Pachacudu. Pachacuti <laughs> has been found last inhabited around 1550. It is rested nearly untouched by the world's community until its rediscovery by American explorer Hiram Bingham. Uh, the Peruvian government is gleefully preparing for an influx of easily taxed tourists. Of course they are. Um, but yeah, that, that it does seem like it's pretty uh, a beautiful uh, estate there. Um, you know, ruins, I should say. Uh, we got a military factory here from our national focus, so we can go ahead and assign this. I guess we're going to go put it into the field artillery. Uh, get that building up a little bit quicker uh, because uh, that's the only thing that we really actually need right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put, it seems we can't get any of these yet. They are all locked by the year, it seems. Uh, so you can't really, you know, just build a massive industry here early on in the war, it seems, or before the war starts early on in the game. Okay, uh, so yeah, we can't get any more of those. Uh, could get dockyards. Like I said, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, that's just resources that we have to spend uh, that I don't want to. So we're not going to go down that route. Uh, we're also not going to be focusing on the Air Force. The Air Force is just, I don't see it being a, an extremely important in this conflict here. Uh, and once again, the, the political power, I don't, I don't think we're going to be needing that um, just yet. And I don't want to go down any of these. So we're going to go ahead and go with Befriend the House of Rashid. Or, wait a minute, I think I might get artillery soon. 
So I think we're going to get this. We'll get the bonus first. I don't want to uh, research artillery uh, when there's a bonus sitting there that we could be getting. Uh, so we're going to go and get that first. And then we will get the uh, befriend the house of Rashid here. And we are getting, we can now see in all these areas. Okay. Or we're getting, it's just changing up. The, the uh, fog of war here is changing up. Not so much that we can see in there. Uh, but yeah, it is definitely interesting seeing Austria-Hungary uh, in, into the, the game here. Because uh, obviously, you know, not really a part of uh, World War II. Uh, they were long gone by then. He had them broken up into several different countries uh, by that point. Uh, we got free civilian factories now. Let's go ahead and get them assigned. Uh, I guess, let me just take a look at what we're working with right now. We have 18 civilian factories and 9 military factories. I think we're going to continue building uh, civilians for now. Uh, let's get them building. Uh, these are all going to be built probably on the edge here, um, just in case we lose that territory. Uh, let's just build three, no, we'll build two more. Uh, and once we get these two built here, uh, then we will work towards um, uh, building military factories, I assume. Although, let me just take a look here. Uh, what else we can get? Uh, no, we don't have the synthetic. I just want to see if there's anything new over here. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, just the uh, the trenches. Uh, which, of course, we, we don't have the tech for and we don't need anyways. Uh, we do have the experience to go ahead and change up our divisions. I think we're going to do that here in a second. Uh, add a support company. Uh, what else do we want to get here? Uh, maintenance, probably, yeah. Logistics, yeah, we want to get that. Let's go and get logistics. Um, and let me just check something real quick. Oops, that's not what I wanted to check. Uh, I wanted to check uh, when the next tech's, 1914. Okay, good to know. So let's go ahead and change up our divisions, guys. Make another adjustment here. Uh, we are going to add... Um, support, that's right. Uh, did we want to add probably engineers? Yeah, let's add the engineer companies first, guys. Uh, let's go and get those. Although, you know what? It could have been better to get the field hospitals first. I think we will get the field hospitals. I think that'll help with the experience loss as we get more equipment to these because we're going to be making so many adjustments to them. It probably would be really good to get that early on. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, that is going to mean that we're going to have uh, a need for uh, support equipment now. And yeah, it is quite a need. Uh, I think what we're going to do is pull from infantry equipment here and put that into support. Uh, actually, we're going to pull from the artillery and put that in support as well. Yep. Um, that's looking good. Let's just leave that as is. Oh, it does seem like we're going to be needing to trade for some resources now. Uh, which is unfortunate, but I guess we're going to trade for both of We do need the aluminum now. Uh, let's go ahead and trade for that. That's just going to be producing so much slower um, if we don't get that. And then what was the other thing that I needed? I need... I don't want to look through all those. Uh, we need steel. Okay. Uh, and I guess we'll, we'll trade for that as well. Okay. Uh, when it's only like one or two of the resources that we're lacking, I'll, I'll, you know, just say, fuck it, we don't need it at the moment. Uh, but when it starts getting on that lower level, or uh, when you start getting more uh, resources that you need, uh, then it's probably good. Uh, might as well, you know? And it seems that, yeah, all of our units are having a lot of trouble getting that equipment. I think that is all of the, oh, well, yeah, that's right, we just made an adjustment to them. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, the uh, cavalry units, we're going to be using those uh, to occupy territory. Um, so we're not going to get rid of them. Uh, however, they, they're really, really terrible. They're pretty shoddy. Uh, we're going to need to make some adjustments to them too, but I think we should focus on getting that infantry, uh, those uh, infantry divisions uh, changed up first. Uh, so yeah, we just have so much. What do you do with all your, your political power? If you can't, huh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can, of course, approve relations still. I mean, that's always an option uh, as well. Um, but what else do you, what do you do with it? I have no idea if you can't. That's the main thing I use mine for is to impact the ideologies in other countries. Okay, so I was looking through here, and I was going to get the ship designer or the aircraft designers and sales or something that we would probably research soon. However, because, um, you know, obviously the military staff, that's not something you want until you're getting closer to war, uh, which, you know, we're not anywhere near war. I don't know when the war will break out. Uh, you know, normally, you know, historically broke out in 1914. Uh, normally in vanilla, the war does break out a little bit earlier than historically, like, you know, 1938 usually. Uh, so maybe it might break out in 1913, which says we still have like two years left uh, before we actually see the conflict break out. So we don't really need these. However, I was looking through them. And there actually is something that could be useful, the division attrition one. And we have to get all three of these guys. Unless there's a national focus that unlocks a new one. Uh, we only have three slots and we have three people. So uh, we're going to have to get them anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get that up. I think that will be helpful uh, now. Uh, you know, so we take a less attrition in any area where we might be taking attrition. I'm sure there might be some spots. Uh, and I don't know if that affects the training attrition. I never actually knew that because that is considered attrition. So that might affect it a little bit. And the Mona Lisa has been stolen. Oh, my God. Last night, a thief has stolen the famous Mona Lisa from the Lou. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Lou. Could be completely wrong. Uh, this morning, Louis Maraud walked into the uh, Salon Correct. God, I fucking French words, man. A portion of the museum where the Mona Lisa has been on display for five 
five years, only to find four iron pegs on the wall. Local guards claim the art was being photographed, which turned out to be untrue. Currently, the museum is closed for investigation. He just walked away with it? What? It's crazy. Uh, so we got new surgical implants here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the next one uh, because, we, yeah, we, ha we can get down to here. Um, so let's go ahead and get the infantry recovery rate and the re-equipped re -equipped infantry recovery rate. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab that up. Although the, the re-equipped one was not uh, a modifier when we actually opened it. Huh. Yeah, that's clearly something to do with the mod. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I really want to get this experience up a little bit faster. Remember, we are getting the bonus from uh, from our, our guy that we have hired here. And we did get artillery effort, which is excellent. Uh, and I suppose uh, what we're going to be moving down to next, I could use the army experience here. That's, that's the main reason to seem to kind of get these early on here. However, I want to go with this one. Let's go ahead and get, this gives us a little bit of total power too, although, once again, not something that we exactly need. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap that one up, because, um, yeah, we could annex them, and plus that gives us a war focus. Uh, maybe early on, who does it give the war focus with us? Is it the Emirate here? I'm not entirely sure. Let's go ahead and take a look, because I am curious. Uh, yes, it does. So, we could attack into uh, Saudi Arabia here, um, though, once again, there's not really any resources here as of right now, uh, so not... Not a lot of uh, benefit there, though uh, getting the manpower, of course, would help, I suppose. I I, I don't know. We got so much manpower. i um, actually quite surprised when I loaded up and I saw that they had 600,000 something manpower uh, right from the get-go. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and we do have enough army experience that we can make an adjustment. Oh, whoa, look what's going on here. Hold up, we got encryption. Let's go ahead and deal with that first. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get decryption next, I suppose. Yeah, we'll get decryption. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the, uh, the Qing Dynasty has declared war on the Republic of China. Uh, must have been some kind of event that might have popped up. Yeah, we have a republic here. I, I guess that was an event. Uh, the emperor is now at war with this republic. Okay. Um, yeah, and they have quite a few territories here as well, kind of broken up in several different areas with their capital um, over here. And Wuhan? I'm uh, probably destroying that. Um, but yeah, that's a little interesting development there. Uh, still no world tension on the, on the uh, uh, meter yet. Okay, oh, we have army experience. That's right. Let's go ahead and invest them in something. Uh, let's get, and we do have some more units that are ready to train. Uh, I might just wait until we get all of our, our guys, you know, where they kind of need uh, to train up first. Although it seems like most of them probably do at this point. Okay, we probably will go ahead and get the training army started again. Uh, let's go ahead and, what was I doing? That's right, we're changing up our units again. Uh, we're going to make a few adjustments here. This is just an absolutely ter terrible division, guys. It is not good. I kind of want to add the engineer companies. No, we do need to get this other stuff here. I think we're going to go ahead and add engineer companies here. Uh, that'll leave nine. We could actually make another adjustment, I believe. Yes, we could. Uh, let's go ahead and go uh, with more infantry. If we put more artillery in here, we do want to eventually get those. Uh, but we're going to lower the organization uh, by too much. So let's just go and get one more infantry here. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. That's our 22 experience. Okay, excellent. Uh, we're gonna make, be making some badass divisions, um, or much better than they are now anyways. Um, and then we have the revolution here as well. So the, uh, Zin Hei revolution here, um, Zin Hei revolution or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and say revolution it was a revolution that overthrew China's last imperial dynasty, the Qing, and established the Republic of China. The revolution was named the Xinhe because it occurred in 1911, the year of the Xinhe stem branch. And it says so many times, I really hope I'm not pronouncing this wrong because I just said it like uh, 10 times. Uh, stem branch in the sexagenary cycle of the Chinese calendar. Uh, the revolution consisted of many revolts and uprisings. The turning point is the Wu Cheng uprising on October 10th, 1911. That was a result of their mishandling of the railway. railway Railway protection movement. The revolution ended with the abdication of the last emperor Puyi on February 12th, 1912, that marked the end of over 2,000 years of imperial China and the beginning of China's Republican era. This had better not affect the price of tea. That's all we apparently care about over here in uh, uh, the Ottoman Empire. All right, guys, so I guess we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. We are now in September 19, 1911. We're moving, I don't know, I think we're moving about a year uh, per per episode, almost a year. I don't think it's quite, uh, but that's, that's kind of the way it usually is. Um, um, whenever we do these, it's usually, you know, about, I think we're moving a little bit slower um, than usual, actually. But yeah, I usually go about a year or so, 10 months, uh, each episode until we get to the war. Um, so if that's the case and the war started in about two years, then yeah, we probably have like, I don't know, maybe another two episodes of pre-war period as we build up here um, and get ready. Though, we probably will have some early wars, guys. I don't know for sure, but if we get those uh, war goals, 
um, against uh, the Emirate over here and against Bulgaria, then we would be the, uh, declaring war kind of early. So maybe we'll actually have war before then. However, of course, the larger war would probably be, you know, much later. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please have a like, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you have anything, any questions, any, any uh, suggestions. I love to hear from you guys. Love to uh, uh, communicate with the, the community. Communicate with the community. That's a perfect uh, sentence there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching, guys.